So what is up everybody? Now it's a little weird kind of format. I have you guys on the POV kind of thing set up because in today's video, I kind of want to discuss something that's not as prevalent as it used to be back in, you know, in the late seventies, eighties, or just before the 2000s. So driving a stick shift is one of the greatest things you could do when you drive a, um, a car, especially if you're a car guy. Manual cars are just so much more engaging. They're so much more fun to drive than autos, at least in my opinion. And funny enough, it's become a joke because it seems to be a anti-theft device now because nobody could drive manual. But I'm hoping this video can kind of resolve that. In today's video, I want to sort of show you guys an intro into manual car driving. So I'm not going to go into everything. I'm not going to show you guys how to rev match and all that crazy stuff. I'm just going to show you guys the basics, how you start the car, how you go from a standstill because that's the hardest part is actually getting the car to move and then how you shift that's it we're not going to be doing any kind of crazy driving or anything literally just the basics now first things first you're going to need a car of course because without a car you can't drive right here we have a 2022 ford mustang gt premium roush mustang and i mean this is probably overkill but it's i just want to show you guys on something that's easy to drive because the mustangs are really really nice for intro sort of you know first time manual drivers because they're really easy the car has an easy clutch it's easy to drive i probably wouldn't recommend you hopping into like a race car <laughs> obviously but let's go ahead and hop in the mustang and uh, i'll show you guys basically what you need to do so first things first you need to make sure you have a comfortable seating position if you don't like where you're sitting or if the pedals aren't like good for you if you can't reach the pedals very well then you probably should sort of adjust because pedals sort of the way you're seating is probably the most important aspect of driving a stick shift so you have to make sure you can push the clutch if i could show you guys down there you have to make sure you can push the clutch all the way in without having any problems so like right now for me I'm sitting here, if I push the clutch all the way in, I could get it all the way to the firewall, no issues, nothing. I don't have to like stretch my body or anything. You don't wanna sit all the way back. You don't wanna sit too close, obviously. You wanna do it just right. Now, and also you have to make sure that you have the steering wheel set, set up because you want the steering wheel to be perfect. You're gonna be driving at, you know, 10 and two. I mean, this is the race car position. So you're driving like this. And what you wanna do is, or not 10 and two, sorry. Um, yeah, more like nine and three, 10 and two, whatever. You wanna make sure your hand or your right hand is as close to the stick shift and easy for you to get to the stick shift as possible because you're shifting gears, right? You're gonna, you have first gear, you're gonna be taking off and then of course you need to clutch in, second gear, clutch out. So of course, it's very important that you have your hand coordination as perfect as possible. You wanna just be able to sit while you're driving, clutch in, third gear, that's it it's that easy now the most important you know aspect is definitely seating position you have to make sure you know you're you have to make sure you could see out of the car obviously so you know it's it's as basic as possible you may be thinking to yourself why is he talking about seating position because it is very important as i said make sure you could push the pedals all the way down the clutch is easy to use make sure it's you know your your shifter's in a good spot so you can reach up very well just please make sure you set yourself up for success now of course we need to be able to start the car so we have the key here for this mustang gt it is a push button but it doesn't matter whether it's push button actual key whatever same concept so right now the car is in neutral the way you make sure it's in neutral is you could do this with the shifter so you could grab the shifter and move it side to side that's how you know the car's in neutral now if it's in first gear like that you can't it won't go to side to side you guys see i could barely move it but when it's in neutral i can literally do this so you want to make sure it's a neutral of course you can start it in first gear you just also want to make sure you don't let go of the clutch because then it's going to stall out or it's going to start you know moving whatever the case may be most of the time it's going to stall out but you want to make sure you're in neutral for the first time ever you've never driven stick make sure you're in neutral you you know we're in neutral now then what you want to do is foot on the brake of course and you have to push the clutch because if you don't push the clutch and you push the start button it's just going to take you to that menu you're not gonna be able to you know, start the car. You can keep pushing the button as much as you want. Nothing's gonna happen because you need to put your foot on the clutch because it needs to disengage from you know, the engine. So foot on the brake, clutch all the way in. You see the button lights up. We're in neutral. You push the button. Beautiful Coyote V8 starts up. We can hear it awesome. Now, next thing, as I said, 
we are in a comfortable position. I'm gonna roll the window down so you guys can hear. A very important part of driving a stick shift is you want to be able to know what the clutch bite point is. So, what is he talking about? What the heck is a clutch bite point? Now, bite point, catch, whatever you wanna call it. So, when you put your foot on the brake, you have, you're ready to take off. When you push the clutch all the way in and you put it in first gear, right? We're in first gear, you're about to take off. When you start releasing the clutch, you're gonna, you're gonna feel the clutch get very tight. It's gonna get very hard because it's starting to catch the engine. You're gonna, you're gonna see the engine kind of bog down a little bit. Now, let me show you. If you guys can hear the engine, I mean, look at the RPMs. See, it's kind of starting to bog down a little bit. Same concept, let me reverse a little bit. Just to show you guys how it works. One more time, first gear, you start letting go of the clutch. See, it's starting to bite a little bit. Then you know you're starting to take off. We're kind of on a hill, so it's not really helping, but. So there you go. That's, that's basically a very important concept. You have to know where the clutch starts biting. Some cars, the clutch will bite a little bit lower. Some cars will bite a little bit further up. It just depends. If your clutch is at the bottom, when your foot is all the way at the bottom and you're in first gear and you barely have to move off the pedal and it's moving, you have a bad clutch. You need to replace it. But most of the time you won't have that because you're going to be buying a brand new Mustang. So you're going to be learning how to drive on a new car. But here's the fact of the matter. It's awesome to know how to drive a stick shift because it's something like not it's something else i mean it's the driving fuel is out of this world and guess what it's a perfect anti-theft device because most people can't drive it but i guess this video will kind of change that because now people are going to learn right but let's actually let me show you guys actually taking off so you close the door you know you have your seatbelt on whatever parking brake you release the parking brake clutch in you can't put the car in first gear if you don't push the clutch in i don't have the clutch in and it physically will not let me put the the you know in gear because it'll start grinding you need to disengage the clutch so clutch in first gear remember you also should give it a little bit of throttle when you're taking off because then it won't bog the motor down so if you're going to take off you let go you start letting go of the clutch you give it some just a little bit of throttle there it is now, some cars, of course, you won't need to do that. Some cars, it's so easy to take off that you won't need throttle. Now, I want you guys to practice before you start giving it, you know, before you start giving it throttle, please just practice taking off. Don't give it any throttle. Go to, an, go to a parking lot with no cars and just start letting go of the clutch slowly when the car starts moving. See? Now on the Mustang, it's really cool because it won't, it, you know, it helps you, it won't let you stall out. So it'll actually give it some throttle itself. But regardless, whether you're driving this or an older car, or whatever, it's the same concept. Foot on the clutch, first gear, you start letting it go. Just practice this until you start learning how to take off well. As you guys can see, it's starting to take off pretty good and we're moving. So there it is. Now we're actually moving with the Mustang. And of course you're in first gear. So if you give it throttle, it's not gonna shift. It's not going to shift because you have to do it yourself. I mean, you know, that's why it's a manual. So to shift, you're going right now, you're driving, you go foot, on, foot in, so you push the clutch in, second gear, you let go, and you just start moving. There it is. So let me show you guys one more time. Let me go ahead and take off. We'll go from a, from a standstill. So remember, foot in, foot on the clutch in, first gear you start letting go we're taking off and now clutch in and then pull all the way back and clutch out that's second gear as you guys can see up there changes second gear and now of course that's that's how you do it for the rest of them so there's six gears in this mustang we're not going to get all the way to six gears because there's no room here but you give it some more throttle clutch in third gear clutch out you're in third now to shift down same concept clutch in this car will automatically blip the throttle. You pull the, you pull it down to wherever the, it is on the shift pattern. So in second, you pull it back and then you just let go of the clutch and you're in second gear. Now, same concept for first. Um, let me show you guys when I get some, a little bit out of the turn. Clutch in, first gear, we're in first gear. There it is.
very basic guys very basic very easy to learn once you learn this you're never gonna forget it it's muscle memory it's like riding a bike you'll never forget it now I'm gonna demonstrate one more time how we do the whole process and then I'm gonna hopefully you guys are gonna be able to catch it the first time now remember it's very important if you stall out it's okay if you stall the car out that's okay don't worry because it's it's normal you're supposed to stall out on your first try you're not you know you're not supposed to be perfect nobody's perfect on their first try but that's okay that's why you have this parking lot that's why you're there you're here to learn so it's okay if the car stalls out don't get nervous don't panic just put it back in neutral like let's pretend the car stalled out so it'll stall out all the lights will stay on let's pretend the car just stalled out you know i'm in second gear it stalled out on me well, oh no what do i do i'm in traffic don't worry take a breath it's okay foot on the clutch back in neutral starts right back up you didn't break anything it's starts right back up you know we you're ready to go again first gear you're ready to go don't even worry but let's do it one more time and then i'll let you guys go i just want you guys to see so i'm going to leave the door open so you guys can watch my foot work so clutch in right we have the clutch in first gear and you start letting the clutch go while giving it some throttle there it is and now to shift in there it is now we're in second very easy procedure to learn very easy to learn how to drive i mean it's it's basic let me show you guys one more time so clutch in first gear start letting go of the clutch slowly give it some throttle you take off very easy on the mustang it's super easy to clutch is light and it helps you so that's perfect you give it some throttle you downshift or you upshift a second there you go now another important aspect that we have to talk about when you're coming to a stop if you're in like a high gear let's say you're in second or not a high gear i mean if you're in like second or like let's say third and you start pushing the brake to stop the engine will stall out because you can't have that high of a gear at a low rpm like that it'll stall out so what you need to do is when you're coming to a stop let's pretend i'm coming to a stop right now you know i'm in second i'm coming to a stop the, the light's red you put your foot on the clutch and you just push the brake in to stop so you could stop like that and then put it in neutral or what i like to do is when i take off let me just show you guys when i'm driving like let's say i'm driving lights red i just put it in neutral i like to put it in neutral and then you could just use the brake normally and you know just go ahead and come to a stop so that's perfect let me know down below you guys i hope you guys are all this is as basic as possible um, I will do a follow-up video showing you guys basically how everything else works like we could do a video on rev matching and all that kind of jazz but let me know down below if you guys want any other tips or anything I'd love to show you guys it is super easy to learn how to drive manual and it's one of the most rewarding things you can learn but I hope you guys all had a you know a great experience watching I'm excited to hear all your experiences of learning how to drive manual you know go out there don't be scared don't be nervous just go to a parking lot or even in your driveway and just practice taking off that's the biggest hurdle that's why so many people give up is because they get scared they stall out and they get scared they think they broke something you didn't break anything guys the car basically just shut off because you didn't disengage the clutch right it's okay put it in neutral fire it back up and do it again you know just keep practicing until you get it and you will get it but it's very rewarding i hope you guys all had a great you know I hope you guys are going to nail it on the first spot on the first time if you don't it's okay that's why you you're there you're there to learn and try but i hope you guys all have a great day i'll catch you guys in the next video and uh let me know down below let me know how the experience goes if you learn how to drive manual from this video please let me know i'd love to hear it